This video is sponsored by DeepCut Studios. For more information on officially licensed Gilball products, check the description below. Hi guys and welcome back to TNG Productions. My name is Tom and we're back playing some Gilball. Now this is the first one we've recorded since the... Demise, do you think? <laughs> it's not a dead game if you've still got the models and can play, haven't you? And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be continuing to record Gilball and play match reports because we find it as fun as long as there's an audience there to watch it. I don't think we've been affected as much by this compared to other channels because we're already super casual and terrible the rules, so hopefully you're watching this for entertainment, not to actually gain any knowledge. <laughs> um, so I'm going to bring my guest in, anyway. Socially distanced battle gaming as usual, this is the wonderful Courtney! Yay, hey, hello! Now if you enjoy our Malifaux battle reports, you've already seen Courtney in our hell-raising battle that we have between Molly and that. Oh yeah, exactly. We're yeah. on to Gilborn now, you're another new player who has been tempted back to the game during well, the... Well, yeah, you, you, you basically run me up and just said, oh, look, I need some wins. <laughs> 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 will you just come, will you come on? <laughs> now you've actually picked up kind of the navigators and fish, but that's not who you're going to use today. No. Who are you going to use today? Uh, I'm actually going to use the Brewers, which is the team I used to play when a couple of years ago when I actually played the game a little bit. Yeah, so we're going to bring that team back and kind of have a nice little nostalgia trip while I use my engineers. Now, yeah. as always, I'm going to wave it in here. This is not a rules accurate bat rep. Ooh, We've not no. played for a while and it never is at the best of times. Take it with a pinch of salt. But we hope you enjoy and we'll get on to it. And here we've got my team for today's battle report. We've got River and the Engineers. I'm keen to try her out and see exactly what she does. She's very much more of a kind of literally lead from the front, support, drag people forward captain. We've also borrowed, we've both had to ask him very nicely, <laughs> Mr. David Cameron, the wonderful DC uh, Spade from the Miners, the Miners Miner Guild, which yeah. is a little bit tricky to say. She's an out and out goal scorer. She's accompanied by Velocity, does the same. And then we've got Big Boy Locust nearby who's there to try and stodge up these nasty brewers. We've got Mother as a mascot, because she's the only one I own of the engineers, uh, and she's great at kind of getting nesting in the ball. And then we've got Harriet the Hat, who brings with her not only a very stylish piece of headgear, she's also pretty nippy herself, and that's some really fun character play. So they are largely a goal-scoring based team with some ball retrieval shenanigans, and we're hoping to avoid getting their heads and robotic bodies smashed in by these ugly brewers that are coming next. And here are the Brewers team that Courtney has brought today, using the, the TNG House Brewers, we're going to call them anyway. Uh, who have you got, mate? Ugly. I'll tell you what, that's a paddling. <laughs> that's yeah. a paddling. Right, so I've gone with Tapper, because I really like Tapper. So we've got Tapper, we've got uh, the, the good old dog old quaff. Uh, we have Friday, uh, we have Mash, and we have Spigot. Um, I basically I, these are what the original uh, brewers that I played when I used to play like a couple of years ago, um, so it's just nice to bring them into the new edition. Yeah, it's nice to have that kind of soft spot with them. Now we yes. played we played the practice game kind of on Vassal the other day, and they it literally beat down and then nick a goal when you yes. can, isn't it? Really? Yes. Um, Tapper is supremely powerful now. He's got is it barroom brawl, mate? Yes. What does that do? Um, basically, if you're if you charge any of your models, my models I should say, when they are in melee range or tapper, it's minus one to the influence that needs to be for the charge. Yeah, so, so you get to make a one influence charge if tapper's engaged, yes. which is just all gravy with Command and Gora, with all the other stuff. Uh, so we expect, what, Tapper and Hooper to beat face, mash, yes. hold the ball and stick it on Friday. Pretty much, yeah. Do the goal things. So we're going to go and get ourselves sorted and kick off and we'll see you in a sec. Okay, and this is how our teams line up for today's match. And I won the roll off and elected to receive, and you've done the typical tapper threat of death kickoff. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. What, what else would I do? <laughs> what else would a brewer do? <laughs> um, so Tapper didn't quite daisy skim it. You did a shallow kick, but it went relatively far. But I think with having like Locus and Mother on the team, there's not much well, point re-rolling because they can fetch it from range anyway. Exactly, exactly. You know, it's you're going to be passing it anyway. I might as well, if I can get it on your side of the field, that's, that's fine. Enough. That is a fine, yeah. So we've remembered for this match, you start with the momentum for kicking it off. Um, I'll talk through my influence then. So Mother and Locus have got a couple of each just to either manipulate the ball or Locust might try and push Tapper. Uh, we've got one on Rivet because she's very much in a supporting role. She's going to probably just tow along some people for her activation. Harriet's got two in case she wants to use her character to play a sucker punch, which is quite cool. And then I've got my goal scorers near the bottom lined up together. So we've got two on Velocity. We've got four on Spade because I think Spade is just a little bit harder for the Brewers to deal mm. with. Uh, so she's the one who's potentially eyeing up the goal run. Uh, but with Harriet being there, Velocity is within four inches. She could get the four-inch dodge and probably still bang a goal. Yeah. Um, how about you, mate? Uh, so, yeah, I've got 
the, the good boy Taffer, he's on four. Uh, I've got the other good boy, uh, Quaff. Uh, I've got him on one, uh, mainly just to sort of get him up the board. Yeah. Because um, previous games, he's just sort of like just been like sort of at the back. Yeah, we had practice really game a couple there. of a couple of nights ago, and the Brewers once they got in the scrum, it was just brutal. Oh yeah. Engineers. So exactly, it's about yeah. getting up the pitch, really, isn't it? Uh, yeah, definitely. So what I've got. Two on um, Hooper, hopefully to get some old Jakes on him. I've got one on Mash again, just to get him up the field. I've got two on Spigot and two on Friday. And the plan here is, what, get up the board and threaten with Tapper? Uh, yeah, I think the plan really is just to get to you and then beat you up. That is a pretty solid plan. Yeah, I, th I think so. So we'll go to the first activation of Turn 1, which will be the Engineers Guild. First activation for me then, and we're going to go with the spider. She's going to do her standard par for the course thing. She's going to put out a nest within four inches. She's then going to use her webbing ability to remove the nest, because it's within two inches of a free ball, and take control of it. She's then going to spend her one influence to attempt to pass the ball to Locus. This is two dice. Looking for a four plus, because I'm at the extremity of her range. Don't mess it up, spider. Oh, she smashes it good Ooh, times, yeah. and that will generate me a point of momentum, which I'm just going to bank for the moment. And as you can see, we've pre-measured, she's just going to make her five-inch jog just onto the edge of cover there. And that'll do for me wee mascot. Okay, my first activation. I'm going to go with my good boy, Quaff. So, all he's going to do is he's going to move up to here, and then he's going to use his one influence, this one, to put second wind on Tapper. Just moving back a little bit. And then I'm going to use pick me up on Tapper as well, just so he gets a little bit more damage in. Yeah, we've got old school tokens, so we'll put the back of Quaffer's token on him, but we know yeah. what it means. Over to Locus for me then, and he's already a little bit annoyed because the dog has ruined his plan to push Tapper behind the rock, so it's good tactical play there, whether it was uh, deliberate or not. I'm going to say deliberate. <laughs> deliberate. So, first thing he's going to do is going to spend a point of influence to try and uh, pass the ball to Captain River. It's within three, so it's tap and pass, so four dice looking for a three, he gets it. I'll bank the momentum again, and we just go down the gun line, basically. And then Locus has got a four inch move, but luckily it's not too much of an issue because Rivet will probably walk past him in a second. Uh, he's going to spend two. He's still going to try and destructive impulse Tapper because just pushing Tapper backwards is always good. So eight inch range, two dice, looking for a three plus on Tapper. This will do two damage and a two inch push. Hey, we get it. So that'll be two damage, but it's reduced because of... Oh, tough hide. So one damage for Tapper, which knocks him down to... Uh, it knocks him down to 19 wounds. 19 wounds, and then we've already pre-measured this. Two inch push. I'm just going to literally knock him the other side of that mark of that. Yeah. And that will be Locus. Okay, well, I'm going to go with Mash then. So all I'm going to do with Mash, easy, easy activation, is I'm just going to move Mash up to here. So I'm going to sprint using my influence to here. And that's Mash. So I've done that thing where you've got loads of like cool abilities but everyone's bunched up together and you don't really know which one to go <laughs> for. Uh, so what Rivet is going to do, she's going to attempt to pass the ball to Harriet to start with, which should be nice and easy because she's an engineer and life is good. So tap and pass. Nails it. Generates me a point of momentum. I'm then going to use Harriet's amazing inspiring hat aura to make a pass and move dodge for free because that hat is just so very inspiring. I oh, know, I'm, I'm inspired just looking at it. This is, she's just right. <laughs> now, I don't particularly know whether I want to move here. Traditionally, Rivet would move and tow Locus forward, but I'm very aware of Tapper and I kind of want Harriet to stay within four to start with so she gets her free character play. So what Rivet is going to do, she's going to spend the momentum she generated from her pass just to chuck up, protect those close. And what that does is, people within a four inch aura of her ignore the first knockdown, they get sturdy. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to activate Spigot. Spigot is going to take a walk just to here, just so that he's still within four of Taffer. And then I'm going to yeah, just to that. And then I'm going to use one momentum. So I'll use my one momentum to 
pop Town's called up. Which is his heroic play. It is his heroic play, yes. So, so I'll just pop that there. Plus two, plus two move to everyone within four inches, is it? It is, yeah. So Tapper is now threatening all the things again. <laughs> yeah. Over to the inspiring girl then. She is going to gain a free character play, which is quite handy because she's within four inches of the captain. So she's got learn from the best. So she can use one for free. She's going to make a pass to velocity. So again, four dice kick. This is not within tapping range, so we need four plus here. Uh, she just about gets it, which will generate me a point of momentum. Harriet's going to use her own aura to dodge four inches to this marker here. Uh, then she's unsure what exactly she wants to do. I think she's going to walk to here. So she's within eight inches of the tap man. This influence is going to be unspent, but she's going to use her free character play, which is Sucker Punch. So this is two dice over eight inches, looking for a three plus against Tapper, and this will do two damage, essentially. So, let's see if we get it. We do, so that'll be two damage, but it's reduced down to one, mate. Yep. So he's now on 18. 18, chipping away, tiny yeah, bit at the time. There, you know. And uh, that'll do for Harry. So, yeah, I kind of um, done something really stupid, Tom. I've just realised I can't actually pick me up, Captains. Do not worry, because the time <laughs> machine of me editing this, I would have already put it on screen, so they will not worry about it. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's not really anyone else who would benefit, because you, you are gearing up for tapas. Well, yeah, exactly. that token. You're still going to beat the living daylights out of Harriet, though, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, he's going to take a walk. I would have liked to have charged, but not going to happen. Bob space is kind of in the way where yeah. he's being pushed. So I'll just move that out of the way. Put that there. I mean, he's still wanting a bucket of dice. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to spend one influence to do an attack. So you've six. got six dice I base. Have. Uh, and Harriet, fours and one defense. So okay. This could be messy. Should I roll yeah, there? Yeah, he's got some space there, mate. Oh, that's not great. So take the misses away, mate, yep. and then take the one armor away. I'll take this far away. So two, so you want the higher dice, so they know which one's the good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. So two successes. Uh, I think we're gonna, even though she's not gonna get knocked down, I'm gonna take it anyway just to just to take that off. To prop the sturdy. Yeah, yeah. yeah So take yeah, the yeah. knockdown, so you won't get any momentum for this because it's ignored. Yeah, and then, oh, yeah, okay, that's fine. And then you've got three influence left. Yeah, three influence left, so I'm going to attack her once more, so I'll just take that away. Uh, so, again, let's try this. Please give me something better than what I had. Uh, okay, that is a little bit better, but <laughs> not great. So uh, again, two misses. Two misses, so let's take them away. One and then armor. one armor. Let's get rid of that four. Three successes. Yeah. Uh, I think we will actually knock you down this time. So it's a momentous knockdown. Yeah. The brewer's speciality. Fantastical. Uh, so that's great. Now I'm going to hit you one more time. So she's threes and one now. She's threes and one. Yeah. Here we go. Eyes light up now with the blade. <laughs> uh, okay. So it's going to be... Four again, not so great. One away for armor. One away for armor. So that is going to be a, I think I'm gonna do a double push. Yep. So just push her now. And I think I'll just do it, push her. Just move her forward, but keep her within your melee. Yeah, pretty much. So if I do like there. Yep, that'll still keep her in. Keep her in, yeah. Uh, generally you put momentum though, it is a momentum. It does. Action. Just bring that around to them. And yeah. you've got one more. Okay. So let's do one more time. So again, three and one. Three and one. And that's Oh, a that's a lot better. That's a lot better. So one away for armor, yeah. but that is what, five? That's five. Full playbook, though. Yeah, I think, you know what? I might just set up a uh, tapper here. Hooper, you mean? Hooper, sorry. So I think I might just put a commanding aura up just, in, just to see if I can get some extra damage off Hooper. So non momentous commanding aura, but yeah. commanding aura allows you to do what, mate? Yeah, so it's going to give me plus one attack and plus one damage to everybody within four inches. Nice. Feel like my poor girl is is destined for death now with Cooper <laughs> eyeing her up. Uh, we're going to carry on with Plan A. We'll carry on with the footballing part. Screw the the poor murdered child. I'm going to spend one to try and make a pass from Velocity to River, just inside tapping range because she's got an eight inch kick. So we need a three plus. Bangs it easily. Generates me a point of momentum, but I'm going to spend it immediately just for Spade, not River, to make a four inch dodge to this position here. 
Velocity then, she's kind of just going to prepare for maybe next turn. So I'm just going to make a casual six inch jog to there, which she'll tip over. And then she's going to spend one just to chuck Nimble on herself, just so she goes to sixes in case anything really bizarre happens and Friday comes and chucks knives at her or something. <laughs> and that'll do for the girls. Okay, let's murder a small child. So I'm going to <laughs> so go with Hooper. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend one of my uh, lovely momentum to put True Grit up, which is going to give him plus two tack. And it would get rid of conditions, but uh, it, he hasn't got any, so it's fine. Um, and then I'm going to charge. Now you don't actually have to spend two to charge here, because no, it's a Tapper's barroom brawl, isn't yes, it? Yes it is, yeah. So you spend just one influence to charge? Yep. That's, that's a thing. That is a thing. A I mean, thing that I love. For what it's worth, I'm going to defensive stance. So I don't think it's going to help Harriet in any way, shape or form. Yeah. I don't think so either. So, if I do... So, five normally. Five tap base, four, four for charging. One for his commanding aura, that's yeah. up on tapper. And then two for true grit. And because she's knocked down, you're on plus two damage. So it's plus one from... Commanding Aura, plus one because shove the boot in. <laughs> fours and one, please. Let's roll badly. Okay, fours and one. Right, okay, Ooh, so... All right. One here, let's get rid of these. And it's one for arm. So there's a three there Oh yeah, well. three there. And then one for arm. I still think you're rapping. <laughs> yeah. How many's that then? So that is four. That's eight. So that's quite nice. Yep. So he's, he's, got gonna play, he's got a playbook of five. He has. And then you've got three on the wrap. So I think I'm going to go for that for Mentis. Four damage to five. To six. To, to six, <laughs> yeah. Uh, which will take her straight away down to ten health. Yeah, that's cool. And then I think with the wrap around, I'm actually just going to go for the non Mentis two damage. Two up to four. So, yep. Yeah. Puts her on six health. Ooh, yeah. That's tasty. And then I'm going to buy the last attack. Yep. So that is going to be... Same dice just without you charging. Yep, yeah, pretty much. So, that's fine now. Don't forget two. your one from your... Commander Yori, well. yeah. Six. I'm glad that you're here, Tom, because I'd just be <laughs> on the floundering. Is that thing of like, you have it. <laughs> Three's and one now, though. Uh, so... Ooh, there's three ooh, ones there. yeah. Yes, there is. And then one armour. And one armour. It's still going to be a bucket of pain. It's four. So I'm going to go with the Mementus 3 up to 5 damage. That leaves her on 1 <laughs> Oh dear. Oh yeah. I'm a very happy boy. And that's going to be the, his, his job done. I think he did a good job there. He did a fantastic job. Right, so we've just planned out the complicated activation now because <laughs> the bloody miner's going to go. Right, so. Spade. Secret tunnel she can place within 2 at the start of her activation. That's nice and easy. She's going to spend 1 to diggy hole and place herself there. So she's got a six, sorry, an eight inch kick, so she's relatively okay. So she's just mm. gonna take her four inch walk, which gets her to there, which she's gonna stay outside of Mash's melee zone, but she is gonna engage Spigot because she has got a two inch melee. Mm -hmm. She's obviously gonna take the ball with her because that would be a sensible oh, thing yeah, to do. Yeah. She's gonna spend one of her three remaining to have an attack. Now she's got four tap base, but luckily River has got an ability which allows everyone who's a squaddy to get plus one tack, which is called follow my lead. So Spade actually goes up to five. Okay. She's going to attack Spigot, who is threes and one, is he? Yeah. Now, I'm not going to go for damage here, so you don't need to worry too much about your tough hide. Uh, two misses, one away for armor, is two hits. That is going to be a momentous push. I'm just going to push you where you are, because okay. I'm going to be able to attack you again. Yeah, that's fair. Um, she's going to swing one more time. So, same dice again, looking for threes and one. Uh, two misses, one away from armor is going to be two. That'll be another momentous push because reasons. <laughs> and then I'm going to spend my last one to have a shot on goal. So, Spade has got a three dice kick. I'm going to spend a momentum for the shot. I'm going to spend a momentous bonus time as well. Okay. So, three dice, one for the bonus time, and that will be looking for four pluses. Come on. She hey. bangs it in. So, I get that point of momentum back. I think I'm going to spend it to make a dodge, but we'll check that off camera in a second. Okay, and Spade has just dodged her way around the wall to annoy Friday more than yeah. anything. Just not to engage her, even though you can shadow like. Yeah. Uh, you get the ball out. I have, and it's gone to Quaff. Good so time. he's taking possession of that ball. <laughs> he's just going to like nudge it towards it's a good Tapper. It's a good part. Uh, Friday left to go then. Yeah, so Friday is going to do a shadow like, which is a two inch dodge at the start of a turn. Yep. 
So I think unsurprisingly to anybody, she, she sees this challenge and she's going to be like, yeah, oh, I'm, gonna I'm the best girl, not you. <laughs> uh, so and basically, she's going to spend one influence to do an attack. Uh, spade is fours and one. Okay, well, four dice, looking for fours and one. Oh, that's a bucket of nothing. Sadly. That's a bucket of nothing. Uh, and then I'll buy the last one, I'll buy another attack. Come on, Friday, you can do better than that. No, you can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can do, no, no, you can't. No, no. Um, well, you know, it, it's just a start. You know, she'll get into it, I'm it sure. It puts us into an interesting position now, so we'll go to the end phase and we'll talk it through. Okay, this is the position at the end of turn one. Uh, Harriet is precariously close to death, but Spade has managed to bang in a goal. So it's currently 4-0 to the Engineers, mm. but I think there's a guaranteed two points for the Brewers and potentially Hopefully. another two with a kill. <laughs> by our reckoning, we're on the same MP. We think we're both on three. So mm. we, this is going to be decided by the game plan cards. If we reveal these now, mate. Yeah. I've gone for a plus two. What have you gone for? A plus six. A plus six, you've gone big. Yeah. Like, Pick up the pace. They're starting to play with initiative. Both players choose one friendly squaddy. They get plus two, plus two move. Mine is never say die. I had a choice between two and another rolling of dice to choose. <laughs> um, which is each time a friendly model suffers a uh, taken out condition, I get two MP. And that also gives me an extra influence to play with this turn. Awesome. So would you like to go first or second? Uh, I'm going to go first. Lovely. So we'll sort the influence out. We'll make those dodges and we'll cut back for turn two. And this is the picture as we go into turn two, and uh, we've had Spade and Spigot get the speed boosts here after a little bit of pre-measuring. Mm -hmm. uh, at the moment then, it's looking like we had different difficult decisions on each side, because I think you've got Harriet basically jailed, ready to die. Yes. But you've also got the dog then potentially losing the ball to Spade, and it's kind of you're deciding whether the takeouts are better or whether the kind of getting the ball free. Yeah, it's, it has been a tough one, this one. Um, I think I, I've gone with... I've decided to go first with Tapper just because I I think even if I were to get it to somebody else off the dog and to somebody else, I think it is very easy for you to still get that ball and to bang it in. I think yeah, if you don't kill Harriet, Harriet is the one who's most capable with her free character play. Exactly. Of just getting it off someone. Even if it goes to Mash, she annoys him enough. Yeah, exactly. So I just have to sort of hope that you either miss <laughs> <laughs> or just um, sort of hope that I can keep the ball with the second if I can start beating up yeah. I can keep that ball and maybe stop you from getting that third yeah, goal yeah KJ that third goal is always mm. the hardest one to go with so we've got a big stack on Tapper he's within range of many people to old Jake's them should they need it yes. so you've got Hooper with two Spigot with three they're the real threats yes. uh, for me we've got Spade and Velocity obviously loaded up to try and chase that goal if they can Locus with a full stack and then there's the spider and rivet nearby just to support Harriet's got nothing because we've had a friendly chat off camera I think we know where this is going yeah. <laughs> so we'll go for the first activation of turn two which would be the Brewers Guild okay so first activation we're going to go with Tapper so Tapper is going to take an attack on Harriet of course he is uh, threes and one threes and one well with an extra dice because you're ganging up on me as well oh yeah that. let's roll that um, he didn't, didn't want it. <laughs> yeah. So it's freezing one. So, so let's get rid of these and I'll take one for armour. I think that's what you wanted though. For. Yeah, that's four. So we're going to put Commanding Aura up. So here we go. Put Commanding Aura up. So that's plus one attack, plus one damage. It is, it is. And now I'm going to attack again. So you've got six attack base, plus one for Commanding Aura, plus one because of Hooper. Yeah. Three and one. Ideally the murder here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. So let's just get rid of these. Three and more. So three misses, one away from armor. So yeah, it's just four. Four. Yeah, we're gonna do the uh, the free momentous up to four. Brazilian. So yeah. you get a momentum for the damage and a momentum for the kill. I do. So that's two. Interestingly, though, I get two momentum thanks to my card because I never say die. <laughs> so I'll take that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Well, at least I'm on the board now. So. Definitely. Yeah. Um, so the next. So now, these are these two spent? Yes. So you've got three left. Yes, so I'm going to, I think I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little walk up. So do you just want to engage River or yeah, Bionic or Locus? I think we're going to engage both. Because if you go here, Locus will then pull you in with his gravity well. Yeah. You happy with that? Yeah, I think so, yeah, because we're still going to be engaging the boss, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, you just want your melee zone on. Yeah, yeah, uh, So you've got three influence to spend then, my dear. Uh, okay. So, I am going to do an attack. Who are you attacking? 
So I'm going to attack Rivet. Rivet. Okay, so you would be on minus one dice because the Locust, but plus one because you're commanding Gorin. Yeah. So you're on your six base. Six base, let's do this. Let's just move these out of the way. Uh, threes and two, Rivet. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I think you've got enough for your knockdown, though. Yeah, so I'm going to do a momentous knockdown. So that's another point of momentum for yeah, you. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, then we're going to buy another attack. Are you going on Rivet or Lycus? Uh, I think I'm going to knock the big robot down. Okay, he is threes and two. You're on seven attack here, though, because you've yeah. got six with your yeah. uh, commanding orb. Let me just get that. So, uh, threes and two. Threes and two. So that is a bit better. That's quite good, actually. Two armor. Two armor. So that's two. So I, I, again, I'm going to knock him down as well. Let's just knock everybody down. So another point of momentum for you. Yeah, that's that's it. And then last is going to be uh, I'll, I'll put some more damage on Rivet. I think. Okay. So twos and two now. Yes. On your seven attack. Oh yes. This is the one that will tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Twos and two. Hey. So that gets fails, and then take these two out. So that's four. So. That's going to be a Mentus 3 up to 4 damage. That will take it down to 14 health. Nice. Uh, now, do you want to old Jake's anyone? Yeah, I'm going to spend one momentum to old Jake's. Is it 8 inch range? It is an 8 inch range. So I'm going to old Jake's um, Hooper. And I'm going to old Jake's Mash. So they will both gain an influence. They will do. So I'll just pop that there so you can all see. Yeah, full stack Hooper is scary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right, so I'm gonna do this while my captain is still alive. <laughs> so, Spade is gonna secret tunnel, which places herself within two, which is conveniently just outside of Friday's melee zone. Then you can see I've marked up with illegal steppers that aren't engineers, uh, walking round. So I've got plus two, plus two moves. So my four inch move becomes six. Takes me to Nya, and we'll tidy all of this stuff away. Yeah. Uh, keep it outside of Spigot's realm of interest as well. And it also conveniently puts me within tapping range. So I'm going to spend one of my influence to buy an attack on the dog. Dog is fours and one. He is. So I've got four tap base plus one because Rivet is alive. Uh, fours and one. Oh, it's one momentous <laughs> tackle. I'll take it and just as well. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't that flashy, was it? No. Um, <laughs> By the other side, it's all we needed though. That's the main thing. Be confident, be confident. Yes. Don't criticize it. Right, uh, fours and one. You suck. Uh, <laughs> You're not supposed to be criticizing. Oh, I've got to damage it. God <laughs> damn it, Spade. Yes. I'm going to do a point of damage to the dog. Oh, what a... Oh, no. God Why damn. would you damage a poor dog? Oh, oh put that gonna, little token Yeah, there. that's going to make the Hooper activation <laughs> far worse. <laughs> um, I should have just controlled it. <laughs> Regret now. I should have just controlled Explosion Spigot. Screw it. <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's hit the dog again. Remember, we don't play competitively on TNG Productions because the host doesn't have the brain power to do it. Uh, fours and one, that's a cock dodge. Try again. Oh, you suck! <laughs> nothing! Nothing! <laughs> oh. That dog! After, after, is... hearing, after hearing how broken this character was, she's, she's not doing her job. Right. Shoot, score the ball, you idiot miner. Right, I'm going to spend the momentum. Do I tap? I don't even trust it. I'm going to take the momentum for the bonus I side. I just, genuinely don't trust. Rolls. Do not trust Spade at all. <laughs> She's a filthy minor guild spy. Uh, so three dice base plus one for bonus timing. She needs a three plus because it's a tap in. Don't mess it up. Yes. Hey, Point of momentum go. back in. Um, I'm tempted to make a four inch dodge, but I'm just probably going to leave her there to be an annoyance. And we'll go back to you, mate. Right, let's continue the beat down. Choo choo! <laughs> You've hit me dog, and that is not going to end well for you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge Hooper. Wait, well, you're going to true grip first, aren't you? Yes, I am going to true grip first, thank you. So you're spending momentum already. I've spent my momentum, pop that there. So that's plus two tack again. Oh, oh, yes it is. So now I've measured this out already, as you can see. Uh, and I'm going to go to here. That's no, one influence charge because of barroom brawl. Oh, it is. It is. Now there's a lot of dice here. You've got five tack base. Yeah. You get four for charging. Yeah. You get one for commanding aura. Yeah. One for love creature. Yeah. Two for true grip. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but it's going to hurt. Um, <laughs> river is twos and two. And you're on plus two damage as well. Of course you are. 
Right. Just push those forward. Yeah. Right. There we go. So, get rid of the failures. And then two armor. And then two armor. Let's get rid of these two. Let's just go. Oh, look at all them, Tom. So it's it's a wraparoo. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. I love seeing it. You love to see that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna go with a Mentus four up to six damage. Uh, five damage, sorry. Six damage. Two, six damage. You can command an aura. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight health, and then on the wrap. And then on the wrap, I will do. Uh, yeah, we're going to do two damage up to uh, four. four, yeah. Non momentously. Yes. She's got four health left. Oh, what a shame. I mean, if you could just not kill her on the next two attacks. <laughs> no, I think I am going to kill her. I think I am going to kill her. Right, so you've got to sort your dice back out again. Now. Yes. So you've got five tap base. I have. You and get uh, two for True Grip. Yeah. You get one for Love Creature, one for Commanding Aura. Yeah. Any more rubbish reasons? No, that's it. All right, twos and two. <laughs> twos and two. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's not nice. Get rid of these. So it's another wrap. Uh, yeah, five and no then one. You got one on the wrap here. Oh yeah. Okay, so she's only got four health left. So if you want to be clever about this, you. Well, I don't think you can. I think you have to kill her if you do damage, pretty much. Yeah. You take a non momentous one. Yeah. So I'm gonna do. No, I just want to kill her. Yeah, to be honest with you. So I'll do a momentous four damage, and then just oh, for the lols, I'll do push or something. a momentous push. Yeah. So you get two. We get three momentum. You get two momentum for your play, but results one for the kill. Yeah. I get two momentum because you killed my captain. Yeah. Um, you've got one influence, you could potentially tough skin something, maybe? Make yeah, someone a bit tougher to hurt? Yeah, I think I'm going to, t I think I'm going to tough skin, um, I think I'll do mash. No, actually, I think I'll it's do... It's got to be someone within four. Well, yeah, in that case, I'm going to do tapper. Okay, so tapper's going to gain tough skin, so he gains plus one armor. He does. And that takes you up to four points in total. Yes. Nicely done. So I am uh, two activations down. It's uh, oh, it's great, isn't it? it it's, it's, not, it's not the best court. I'm, I'm really just trying. All I'm else. trying to do, mate, is I'm just trying to make your turn easy for just you. Just nice and quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, exactly. le it's less editing. Yeah, That's exactly. Really right. I'm, I'm being a friend here. Oh god, right, Locus. He's going to forfeit his move to stand up. Let's see if that bites him in the backside in a second. He's going to buy an attack on the Tap Man. Okay. What's his defense? Threes and one? Yes, but he's got threes and two actually. Isn't he? he has, yes. Christ. Right, five tack. Any response from you? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna let you do it. Okay. <laughs> so five tack, looking for threes and two. Come on. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's like two it. hits. I will take a momentous knockdown. Okay. See how you like it. <laughs> Uh, I don't like it. You don't like it? Don't appreciate it. No, I don't. The weird thing is, we're both swimming in momentum. You killing me is actually <laughs> helpful. Great. Uh, buy another attack. So, looking for twos and two now. Yes. Uh, oh, I still don't miss. Two way is going to be oh, a momentous push because you've got tough hides. There's literally no point trying to do damage to. Uh, I'm going to push you just sidewards to that. Oh, okay. Uh, buy another attack. Same again. Hey. Yeah, all the threes in the world. Um, momentous two damage goes down to one. Yeah, he's on 17 now. You're getting there. <laughs> so you might him. be able to kill him. Killing him softly. <laughs> yeah, eventually. Uh, one more. Let's just keep wailing, I think, because Locus is pretty healthy. He's just now. got angry men in front yeah. of him. <laughs> <laughs> Two, uh, I'll take a momentous push again, mate. Okay, cool. And again, I'm just going to continue to shove Tapper this way. Um, and I think that do for Robot Boy. So, after murder, I always uh, find having a good jog. Just or run, sprint. running it off. Yeah, yeah, you know, you got you got to get out. You got to get get running, get fit. Get um, up, love you coming up. Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna go with Friday. Um, she's gonna do a little dodge to here, and then she'll do a sprint to here. Yeah, she's got one influence. So she had a like and then sprint. She's yeah. just seeing what's happening on the other side. Yeah, exactly. Just keep her active. You know, keep you honest. <laughs> Mother's up for me, she's just going to continue playing her own little game really, she's just going to lay nests and walk around, so she's going to chuck <laughs> one there to annoy Tapper with the crowding out, or the uh, yeah crowded out penalty, and then she's going to walk five inches essentially just to here, just to kind of block Quaff's easy jog around the post route I suppose, it doesn't do too much, but not much I can do with these limited activations now. 
All oh, right, okay, we'll have my jog. Now let's do some more murder. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go with Spigot. Spigot is basically just going to, to walk up to here, to this lovely spade. Interface contact. Interface contact, yeah. And he's going to give her a good uh, beat up. Bottling, <laughs> bottling. <laughs> a bo bottling, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna declare a counter attack here. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So the spade is fours and one. Okay, fours and one, so five dice. Let's do this. Uh, not great. Still two. Uh, so I'm going to do the Mentis knockdown. Yeah, there it is. Because why would I not? Because bigger. <laughs> I want you on the ground. <laughs> and now you gain. Uh, I gain plus, uh, plus two dice. Yes, yes, and love creature as well. Oh yeah, you've got my love yeah, creature. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I didn't forget it. I just wanted to give you a chance. You tactically, didn't you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So three's and one now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so um, you're on what eight attack, five attack base. Yes, he is on the eight attack. Oh, so three's and one. Three's and one. Oh, that's not. Ooh, bad at all. Ooh, ooh. Uh, and then one armor. Oh, look at that. That's gonna be a rat. That is Play gonna be a rat. Yeah. So we just do that so you can sort of see it. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the three damage. Is that momentous? Uh, momentous, yes. Puts, so that's another uh, one. Down to 12. And, and then, then with the wraparound, I think I'll just go with the uh, non momentous two. Puts her on 10 health. You oh. You've got one more swing left after this. I have. I have. Are you ready for this? Not particularly, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not appreciating this. <laughs> right, okay. Reason one. Oh, not that way. That's awful. And get rid of that. Still your full playbook. Yeah, well, yeah, but I want more. Uh, you know, I'm greedy. So we're gonna do yeah, three damage, momentous. Puts her on uh, seven health. It does. It does. Oh, look at this, Tom. Look at all my momentum. Look at all this. Well, look do you want to spend any for heroic? Are you quite happy where you are? Um, you know what? I'm quite happy. I like. I'm like a dragon. You know, <laughs> on the top of the treasure. Smog, I don't want to get rid of it. I'm smog. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, velocity for me, then my last activation before you've got two on the bounce. Yes, come closer. She's gonna spend one to chuck Nimble on herself just to make herself a little bit better at the defending. She's gonna mosey on just to this icon here. And then she's gonna buy an attack on Friday. Okay. Any response? Uh, you know what? No. Okay. So, four dice, looking for fours and one because you're not near Spigot. Yep. Uh, we get one successful hit. Uh, that is going to be a damage on Friday. Nice. A tickle. Okay, so Friday's on a weapon. Do it again. Fours and one. That one's just shot off. Uh, again, one damage. Oh, she's on ten. Chipping away. That's <laughs> yeah, all the engineers do. Uh, and then one damage. <laughs> You're just tickling me now. Yeah, all that momentum that I was hoping for. <laughs> it um, and that'll do for velocity. Okay, let's go with the big man. So I'm going to mash. Uh, he's just going to take a lo lovely little walk to here. There's just pockets of violence now. Yeah. It's a brewer's game. I mean, yeah, exactly. What did you expect? <laughs> this is brewer's. Um, so. I'm going to spend my influence to smack her with my cricket bat. Yep, so. Which is a reference, I, I, which is something I never thought I'd actually say, to be honest with you. I never thought I'd go <laughs> through life to say smack this minor. <laughs> yeah, with my cricket bat. So, if I tap base, plus one for Spigot, plus one for the creature. Okay. Three and one. Three and one. Ooh, let's put these in so you can see them. It's not, uh, bad. not bad. And then the one, we'll get rid of that. I think that's a wrap. That is a wrap. Love it. I love it. So. Yeah, momentous three damage. Ouch. Uh, and then a non momentous one damage. Uh, puts on three health, infinitely killable now. Oh, yeah. And that's it. Okay, so Quaff. Quaff is going to show you now his brilliant footballing skills. <laughs> He's going to nudge it along. He's going to nudge the ball to mash. So I'm going to use one for bonus time because it's one dice and I'm just not that brave. So two dice looking for a three. Yeah. Let's do this. Hey! You get your momentum back. <laughs> I do get my momentum back. Awesome. So the ball goes to Mash, and then all he's going to do is he's just going to move the just to chuck another melee zone. Just to chuck another melee zone, and that will be quaff done. Okay, this is the picture at the end of turn two, and yeah, that was speedy turn because you murdered all my characters. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, we think it's about what eleven to eight momentum. Yes. So we think we're on like a plus three difference for you, and the score currently what eight to four. Yeah. Potentially eight to six with Spade being breathed on. Hopefully. <laughs> so we'll go to the game plan cards. I have gone for a plus seven. Ooh. How about you, my dear? He's he's hiding it here. Oh, plus six. Oh, so you will have. I anticipated that seven. You definitely saw yeah. it coming. So mine will put me on minus one uh, influence. I'll take away one of my goal ones. Do you want to go first or second? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go first. So we'll make the dodges that we need to make, and then we'll go to the influence allocation. And here we are then at the beginning of the third turn. You can see Harrier and River have kind of limped on at the top of your screen there, feeling very worse for wear. We've made our dodges. You dodge first, mate. Who did you dodge? I dodged Locus. I wanted him to get nice and comfortable in between. Uh, yeah, he's in Hooper's. Hooper. Yeah, Hooper's melee zone is not great now. Uh, I've dodged Mash in the hope of kind of threatening with velocity if she can roll amazing dodge, yeah. basically. <laughs> um, Spade is not long for this world, so most of my influence has gone on Velocity, Locus, and Harriet. You've got the big stack on Tapper. I have. And looking to just, I don't know, fill up Hooper and Friday with the old jokes. Is it? Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, and I put two on Mash. Uh, I was debating with Spigot just in case I got really unlucky, but I think two influences is the right amount there. Yeah, Spade on three health, knocked down, crowded out by two people. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you don't know what happens. I might roll a load of ones. <laughs> Let's see how we do then. So you've got initiative, so we'll go to the first activation of turn three, which will be the Brewer's Guild. Okay, well, we're going to go with Spigot. We're going to uh, put the miner in a natural habitat, which is into the ground. Into <laughs> the ground. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you've got what five tap base mm -hmm. plus two because she's flawed plus two yes. mates three yes. and one. Here we go. Uh, I'll just put that there. Oh, look at that. That might be a bit of overkill. There, I think. <laughs> yeah, and is it one army? One said? army, yeah. Yeah, mm, yeah, a little bit of overkill. Maybe could have just gone without one influence, but uh, you know, you, you want to make sure she dies. Just gonna have to pull that forward into. Yeah, you. you can see that. Um, so yeah, I'll just do the three. Um, Free damage with uh, momentum. Momentum's free damage, that's the one. And then. Uh, Can you do the double push, maybe? And then the double push as well for another momentum. Right, so you get two momentum for your playbook and you get I, another momentum for the takeout. I as do. Well. Push you on three. It does. Or spade. Out of action. I mean, no surprise there. Yes, yes, yes. So now I can sprint. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to attempt to get a little bit there. So I think I'm going to move up a little bit. Probably to about... I mean, it depends if you want to put times called up, because you could times called yourself here. And get I could do. Here. Yeah, we're going to... Let me have a bit of a think about that. Right, so yeah, I think that's a good idea. So we're going to times call. So that's one momentum. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just have a little, lovely little sprint just to uh, yeah. just to make me annoying. Taking advent advantage of that extra kind of two inch sprint. Exactly. And that will be Spigot done. Locus is gonna step up to the plate. He's gonna make his four inch walk just to this position here. He's gonna buy an attack on Hooper. Okay. So I've got five stat base. You have. Plus one because Rubit is actually back on the pitch now. <laughs> uh, against Hooper's defense off. It's three and one. Standard Brewers. Oh, that's a terrible oh. dice roll. That's nothing. Nothing yes, at that all. Yes, that is nothing. I'm going to try that again. <laughs> yeah, we're okay. Yes, we're okay. So, Mrs. Mrs. One for armor. Momentous knockdown. Oh, dear. Get down. God, Locus really had to work for that then. He did. And then he's going to attempt to destructive impulse uh, mash. So this is just to pop the resilience. So sure. Mash's defense is a three. He is. So I need a three plus. Oh my god. Oh no. Terrible. It's been some foul language off camera there at Locus. There's <laughs> been a lot, of, a lot of bad language thrown in his direction. Yeah, Stupid I, robot. I've had to get into cover. There's just big tables and chairs thrown around. It, it's, it's not looking good here. You are going to become a Frostgrave minion. <laughs> <laughs> you are never going to see the Guild Ball table again. <laughs> Uh, anyway, kill him, he deserves it. Yeah, so I'm going to go with Tapper. I'm going to spend one MP just to get him up. Yep. Um, and then I'm going to make a charge. So I think... You're going to get pulled into base contact with him anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he'll go to here and he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I mean, you could go wide to make sure you engage in the spider. Uh, so it depends if you want to or not. Nah, I'm happy where I am. Okay. okay. So two for the charge. Yep. 
And I'll lose one dice because you're in cover. You will. So, let's do this. Let's do threes and two. Threes and two. Ooh. Ooh. Your dice are looking nicer than mine. Yeah, yes, yes. And then two armor, you said. Threes and two. Oh, yeah, sorry. Then two armor. And then you take the knockdown because you're a brewer. Yeah, I'm going to take the knockdown because I'm a brewer. <laughs> so you get a point of momentum. Yes, that's what I like. That's what I like. So I'm actually going to spend two momentum to get a uh, hooper up. Okay. Because I, I like having a lot of crowd out. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's how Bruce, so you're on base dice now, then you're on yes. your six. Six. Okay, let's try this again. Twos and two now. So. Oh. Yeah, just as well you knocked him down. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just going to do a momentous push, I think, just to get some momentum. You can push me out the cover if you want. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I think this, that's the plan. This way? Yeah! Cool. So, Which, you've done two for charge. Yeah. Did you take one away just then? I did take one away, so, yeah. This one this time. There we go. Two and two. Two and two. Come on. Oh, oh that's, that's, big, that's better. That's a big roll. Now that's better. So that's fine. So we're going to put Commanding Aura up with that, I think. So I'll get my Commanding Aura. There we go. That's the one. And then... So you got your six tack now. <laughs> yes. Plus one for Hooper. Yeah. And then plus one for Commanding Aura. Yes, that's right. Here we go. Twos and twos. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. And then two armor. That's a full is, playbook, isn't it? I think. That is a full playbook, so yeah, we're gonna we might as well go with uh yeah, three up to four damage. Goes back down to three because I'm tough hide. Yep. Yeah. Uh but three damage on Locust puts him on uh 12 health. Yeah, and that's it. Do you want uh old Jakes or anything? I'm gonna old Jakes, yeah. Uh did you get your momentum for that? I did get momentum for that, yes. Uh so what I'm gonna do, yeah, I'll old Jakes, I'm gonna give Hooper another influence. And I'll give Friday another influence as well. Lovely. Awesome. Done. Pretty easy one for me. River is just going to spend an influence to make a sprint action to here. That will then trigger her toe ability. So anyone that she moved within two inches of gets to make a jog towards her. Harriet's got a speedy jog of six, so literally she'll just go to like there. Uh, I think River is then just going to spend one of the momentum that I currently have just to heal herself, just to make her less of a hooper bait target, which puts her up to 13. Okay, so I think I've, the big robot is he's, 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 he's on the ground. He's nullified. I don't need to worry about him just yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually with Hooper, I'm going to activate Hooper, I'm going to move to here. So just to here, let's move that out of the way. So staying within four inches of time. Yeah. Now I'm going to spend one momentum to do True Grit to get me that sweet, sweet extra... Super attack. Oh yeah. Just move that back if you wouldn't mind, yeah. Cool, and now I'm going to attack Velocity. So, five attack base. Yeah. Uh, plus one for Commanding Aura. Yeah. Plus one for Spigger. Yeah. Plus two for True Grit. Yes. Five pluses. Come on, fives. Let's move that back in. Uh, okay, actually, you know, not, not the worst. So two hits? That's two hits. Mmm, oh, I could have been free. That's Shire such a sad one. That's a sad, that's a sad one. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're actually just going to do um, two damage to her, I think. It's worth saying in retrospect, you probably- Or three damage. It's worth saying you probably could have charged because you do- I oh, know it's not in the melee zone of Tapper, is he? In no, no, no. So two damage up to three because of Commander Gora? Yes. Any momentum for that? Non-momentous? Non uh, it's non-momentous, yeah. Okay, and you got another influence? Uh, got yeah. Three more. Yeah, so we'll just move that so you can actually see it's, it on camera. Yeah, so you spent the first one, haven't you? Yeah. Good. Second one. So, once again, five. And then these two. Come on, fives. Uh, again, <laughs> you're rolling the right amount of dice. Yeah, you are. Yeah, Just to see if you missed what any. No, two no. hits. Two hits again. Three damage, is it? Uh, yeah, that's another three damage. I mean, the good news is she's on three health. I mean, that's good, but she has got rid of me. She has got rid of me. I mean, at least she'll die to a stiff breeze, so that's something, I guess. Uh, so this is the last one. Uh, come on. Uh, that is just a one this time. 
so what I'm going to do is I am just going to uh, just put one damage to two. So one damage to two. Puts her on one health left. Okay, and that is that's the, that's the turn. Over to me then. I'm going to have to go with velocity to start with. She's going to spend the momentum to heal herself because she's a poorly girl. Takes up to four. And the temptation is to nimble here, but I'm going to buy an attack. Any okay. response from you? Uh, I have not got any momentum, so no. Okay, so that, that, that will probably limit that. Yeah. So four dice base, plus one for rivet, minus one because of Hooper engaging. I'm attacking Spigot, I should say. Yeah. Looking for threes and one. Uh, not quite what I wanted. Um, a damage which he ignores. Yeah. Oh, that makes this harder. Uh, yeah. Do it again. Oh, should I pay for the acrobatic? This has kind of ruined what I want to do. Instead, I'm going to pay for the acrobatic. I'm going to acrobatic to there. Where are you going, girl? Should I acrobatic to start with, actually? <laughs> that would have been smarter. So now I'm going to buy an attack. Okay. Uh, four dice goes up to five because of Rivet being on the pitch. Threes and one. Ooh. Okay, velocity. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> momentous double dodge, double push. Annoyingly, it doesn't do what I wanted to do. I should have acrobatic first. Okay. Um, because then I could have done some good stuff. So, double push there, double dodge to there. She's, Mash hasn't got unpredictable movement anymore, has he? He's no. not super sad in that sense. So, Velocity is going to walk into base contact behind. This is why I should have Acrobatic first, because then I'd actually have two influence to do this. But uh, she's going to buy an attack on Mash. Okay. So, Mash is also threes and one, isn't he? Yes. So. <sighs> Oh no! Dice! Oh my god! Mash is impenetrable. Yes, he, he is. Like, he's... not his resilience, just hitting him. <laughs> he's look, he's, he's, he's a lot more movable than he looks, alright? Never mind, Ro never trust robots. Okay, well, after that, that example of um, fantastic footballing from the robot. Full Metal Mash. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with Mash now. Uh, so I'm gonna attempt, I'm gonna buy one influence, well, not buy one influence, but I'm going to use an influence to buy an attack. And I'm going to hopefully knock the seven shades out of you. So five attack? Yeah. Look for a five? Yeah. Uh, well, that's one. Not exactly what I wanted, so that's one damage. Puts it down to three. Yeah. And now I'm going to try and pass it. So you are within six of Friday. I am. Uh, you've got no momentum though, so you'll lose a dice. What's Mash's kick? Uh, Mash's kick is three. So you go down to two? Yeah. Uh, looking for a four plus though, because she's not engaged. Probably. Okay. Come on. Oh. Well, I would say I feel bad. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> so, um, it might just go through her, you might just not get the momentum. So, do you want to roll a dice for distance, mate? Yeah. Distance is three. three. And the direction? And the direction is one. So, it's going to go three inches in the one, meaning it will land there. Now I think, ignoring Tapper's hook, the ball path doesn't go over any players. Okay, that's cool, so that's I fine. I think it's just a free ball there. Alright. You have still got your move with Mash if you want to move him anywhere. I mean, he is engaged by velocity, but it's up to you. Um, no, I think I'll keep, mark, I'll keep the mark on him. Lovely. Okay, I'm going to go with the spider, and it's at this point I have to admit I actually cheated with Harry at the start, because it's other friendly models, so when she made yeah. the dodge, but it made no difference in terms of the game. I want you all to know that <laughs> I have, I've got him over my knee, and I've tapped his <laughs> A couple of times, so he, he, he's very, very sorry, aren't you, Tom? TNG production, F the rules. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to put an S marker here, I'm going to take it away, I'm going to web this because spider does spider things. Um, I'm just literally going to walk. I mean, if I win via cheating, is it ever actually a win? I mean, yeah, I would say it. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, it is so, two dice, looking for a three plus, gets tap in to go to Harriet. I uh, oh, thought I was going to say I deserve that then, but no. Um, I think I'm going to spend the momentum that I've just gained, like a legal player would, like a man who knows that how this game works, hasn't played it for three years <laughs> on and off, and, you know, forgotten everything about it. I'm just going to dodge there. On okay, the crowd. Cool. And pray that Harriet can do wonderful things. She's just gone off camera, it's just spin her just there. Right, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm just whipping myself in the background. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah, you keep whipping hard. Um, 
So we've got sound bites that will be used for all. <laughs> so um, we're going to go with Quaff. Quaff is basically just going to move to here just so he can be annoying. Try and run into fear. Yeah, and that's it. Do you know what, Courtney? Hmm? I may be a cheat, but I'm also a petty cheat. Because <laughs> I'm going to hit Mash before I shoot. <laughs> so, uh, learn from the best. I'm starting within four inches of my captain, so I get to use a character play once drawn activation without spending influence. I'm going to spend one of my three to make a sprint. Now, Harriet is stupid quick. She's nine normally, so 11 inches on the fast Quick ground. Gets her to there with these two. She's going to take the ball with her, obviously. Yeah. I mean, you can leave it there if you want. I mean. She's going to use her free character play, because screw you, Bash, to <laughs> pop his resilience. So I'm going to try and sucker punch him just because I can. Two dice, needing a three. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> screw you and your resilience. <laughs> screw you and everything it stands for. Um, right, I, I could just sucker punch him. I'm going to go for the shot. I think I've got momentum to use here. I don't think I've got anything to bonus time with, though. So this is just going to be four dice. Looking for a four plus here. So oh, let's come see. On. After having a. I said you've got a nice hat. You yeah. <laughs> uh, oh! oh! Yes! Do you know what? I only saw the ones. I thought I'd throw four <laughs> ones at. That's still not good. Um, oh dear. See, this is what happens. You, you compliment someone's hat and then they don't want to play it anymore. So that's a miss. <laughs> <laughs> God. We're gonna we're gonna see where it goes. <laughs> I mean, you never know; it might bounce just in front of it. I mean, yeah. Don't exactly. think it physically can. Uh, light green for distance, dark green for direction. So in two five inches. Oh, it's gonna go miles away. So two five inches over there. It's not even skimming anything or hitting the post. Um. Yeah. 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 You yeah. feel good about that? Yeah. <laughs> May that be a lesson in hubris, children. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's because you attacked Mash. If you hadn't attacked Mash... Yeah, I would have scored. Yeah, we have scored. I wasted the good dice on yeah. popular resilience. <laughs> right, so... Also, for... where's this resilience marker? I demand that you put your resilience marker. <laughs> I've worked the entire turn for that. It's the last turn! You can find your marker it's and you can put it out. <laughs> it's the last activation! I will make a goddamn marker. <laughs> anyway, Friday. <laughs> Right, Friday, she's going to shadow to here, and then she's going to sprint to here. Staying outside of velocity. Staying no, outside of velocity in range. We've pre-measured this, it is one inch. So, she's gonna, it's going to snap to her. She's got one left, but nothing to really do with it. I mean, you could pass it, but... Yeah, yeah you know what, I am going to pass it. I'm going to try and pass it to Spigot. So I think, she got an eight inch kick Friday, she has. She has. So, he is within range. Yeah. So you've spent one for the sprint. I did. And then... Right, okay, so... Neither of us got any momentum. This is a really low momentum. <laughs> you, yeah, exactly. Um, so now you're going to see how a professional passes the ball. You've got space there. You've got three dice, is it? Looking yeah. Looking for a four plus. Yeah, you're going to see now how a professional uh, passes the ball. Uh, take note, Tom. Yeah, see? There's that six. You just moved my models around. I know. <laughs> uh, generates you a point of momentum. It do you does. want to do anything with it? Um... Uh, no, I think, I think I want to keep this. No, actually, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run. So I'll spend that momentum, I'll do my four inches. Funnily enough, I'm just gonna literally go straight up to about here and then come get the ball. I think that's the last activation of the third, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I think everyone's gone. Engineers Guild, most reliable kicks in the game. <laughs> <laughs> well then. Um, so we both think we're on no momentum here. Yeah. Uh, Velocity is looking very peaky. Uh, Locus is just on his bum. And most of my team are on the other end of the pitch. And Harriet is just lamenting her terrible passing because she <laughs> touched mash. Uh, so let's go to our cards. Game plan cards then. So we can do mutual reveal now. Yep. Boom. Oh, oh, we've go for, both gone for a plus four. Yeah. Oh, do you know what that means? What's that so mean? roll off. Oh, yeah. So we'll try and roll here. Uh, two, a two. Oh! A three. Anything that relies on my dice is basically game over, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so you've got the hit with its hurts. Enemy model, choose an enemy model, you get, uh, they get weak points, and I've got punching bag, I get to choose a model and it gets tough hide. Would you like to go first or second, my dear? Um, maybe have a bit of a Yeah, I'll go first. Right, so we'll rack them up and we'll see in a sec.
Well, we didn't think we'd get to this term. No, we didn't. Um, so, it's an interesting spread. You've put weak point on Locus, obviously going for the kill there. Mm -hmm. I've put to hide on Velocity, obviously trying to hopefully hope that she doesn't be whittled words yes. and stuff. Um, the important one to note is Spade is obviously moseyed on at the bottom of your screen. Spigot has the ball. Everything's looking like our normal influence lineups, really. The strikers for me have got most of the influence, then it's scattered everywhere else. It's the opposite for you. The beaters seem to have it. Uh, you're looking at generating some momentum, mate. Yes. If you can get a take out and a goal, try and get yourself up. To. Yeah, so to. I've just got to try and chase the ball at this stage. There's not really an easy take out on the board for me. So we'll go to the first activation of this turn, which would be the Brewers Guild. Right then, you were umming and ahhing killing the ball completely with Spigot, but what are we going to go with with him instead? Yeah, it doesn't feel very brewery, does it? I saw that should go. <laughs> there might be people just screaming at the screens now, but I'm going to charge Spigot in because yeah. I want to kill. We don't do ball killing on the channel. Yeah. No one wants to watch that. <laughs> Actually, it's only one because she's in. I have uh, already ruled. There. Yeah, you take your hands off my finger. So. It'll go to here and then, whoa, no! Get stuck in. gravity. Are oh, you leaving the ball though, obviously, for you know? No, 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 no. The ball's coming with it, the ball's coming with it. Okay, so, that's a lot of, this is a lot of dice. Five tap base, four for charging, mm. two because of flawed, one because of tapper, yes. two's a one because of weak points. Yeah. You've got all this space in it. Okay, let's sort this out. Already tasty. Two's and one, did you say? Yes, so there's a few ones in there. There is. Get rid of that as well. And that one there. And then that one. And then an arm. Get rid of it. Let's have a look. Let's play book of four. Ooh, what's, what, what looks like a, looks like a wraparound to me. I mean, I wish I could be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go with uh, a momentous three damage. Which will go down to two because of my tough fight. Yeah. And then on the wrap. And then on the wrap, I'll probably go with a non momentous two damage. It goes down to one. So I'm on nine health currently. Okay, that's fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack once more. So I don't. Oh, I'm taking it off the wrong model there. Um, so five tap base. Yeah. Plus two because of flawed. Yeah. Plus one because of tapper. Yeah. Two's and one. Okay. Get rid of this one. Get rid of this one. And then I'll get rid of this two for the armor. And it looks like a wrap around again to me. So another momentous three damage. Down to two. And then a non momentous one damage. Which is ignored because of my tough one. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and that will be Spigot done. Let's hope that wasn't a complete mistake. Okay, this is largely going to come down to dice here and just seeing where things scatter. And as we know, dice have not been particularly friendly so far. So Locus is going to spread a momentum to heal his knockdown. He's then going to buy an attack on Spigiot. So I would have five tap base. Plus one because of Rivet being on the pitch, but I lose one because I'm being engaged by Tapper. Any response from you, mate? Uh, I'm actually going to... I've got a knockdown on one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to just um, do a counter-attack. Okay. So it's been your for counter-attack. So three's and one. He's relying on my terrible dice here. Right I am. Oh, lucky. Right. Okay, well, that was... So, miss... One away for armor, that is going to be three successes. That could be the momentous tackle, but I'm going to take the momentous knockdown. Yeah. So I'm going to knock Spigot down, and now we have to see where the ball is going to go. So, circular scatter on Spigot with the one facing my goal. Okay. We'll use light green for distance, dark green for direction. So, uh, direction one, five inches. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, so it's going to basically land on the rough ground there. Okay. Now because it went five inches, that's not the worst news in the world for Locus because his character play is a six inch character play. So, six inches. He's going to spend one to remote control. Now remote control is a weird one. I always get the rules wrong for Target a free ball. This model might make a kick without spending influence as if it was in possession of the ball. The kick distance and ball path of this kick are measured from the current location of the free ball. But I am being engaged by Tapper, so I think I lose a dice here. I mm. might be wrong, but I'm going to go with it just to play safe, essentially. I'd rather be incorrect but give you dice superiority than be wrong and yeah. do myself out of it, essentially. So his four dice kick is going to go down to three. He's going to just try and kick. Oh, do I kick it that way, actually? Yeah, screw that. Spade, you have it. 
No, don't, don't kick it that way. I'm going to attempt to boot it that way instead. <laughs> um, so, three dice kick to see if it's successful. It is. And then, again, uh, light green for distance, dark green for direction. So, four, five. That is... Here we go. So I said light green for distance, didn't I? Dark green for direction. So it would go there. And I don't think the ball path is going over Hooper. So I think Locus is going to be happy with his work there. Um, he's still not moved. So I'm just going to move to there. Just so I get the benefit of the cover. And I think that's probably Locus done. Okay. Uh, I don't have to with the ball being over there, but I think what we're going to go is we're going to go with Tapper. Because uh, when in doubt... Tapper's just... out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to tap Locus. So let's see if I can uh, get him back on the floor where he deserves. Yep, so your sick tap goes down to five and cover. Threes and one because yep. I'm uh, weak pointed. Uh, okay, so that will be there. And I'll take one off. So that's two. Yeah, you're not down, sir. Yeah, I'm literally reaching for the token. <laughs> yeah. <that's> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so Momentus not down. Momentus not down. I've just sorted that out now. So I am going to attack you again. Awesome. Have you removed your influence for that first? I did not. Did you have six on or five on? Five. I had five on. Okay. Okay. So, so that's this attack coming now. Yep. Yeah. Let's do this. Twos and one. Twos and one. Oh, that's gone flying, but that was a six. That one's a six. Don't worry about that. That's also a six. Uh, so that goes off, and then we take one off. So it's three. I'm going to do a double push, Momentus. Yep. Uh, just to get you back, get you in range of spigot. Okay, so there basically. I'm happy yeah. with out, that, yeah. out of the cover. I'm happy with that. So spigot's still on his bum though. Yeah, yeah. But you get a dice back to mount cover. Yes, exactly, which is more the thing. I think actually I'm going to spend two moments to get spigot up. Okay. Just because I, I, I like having ganging out. So that would be six and a seven now. And then this is this attack, yeah? Yes. Threes and one. Sorry, twos and one. Twos and one, yeah. Oh, I like that. So we'll take that, take that. That's what's left. Full playbook. That's a full playbook, so that's a commanding aura going on. Here it starts again. <laughs> she begins again. <laughs> Not on you, but on... <laughs> yeah, I'm just giving you, you know. I feel sorry for you. Locus just says some robotic noises from the floor going. Dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yes. Right, so he's going to buy another attack now, so I'm on... Six base, plus one for Spigot, plus one for Commanding Aura, you're on plus one damage, I'm tough hide, so it's just yeah. whatever numbers you roll, twos and one. Twos and one. Oh, Oh nice. dear. So I'll take this one off, and this is what we've got left, so I think that is a wrap. Yeah, playbook of five. Oh yeah. So uh, that's going to be uh, a momentous three up to four damage. Back down to three, which yeah. puts him on four. Yeah, and then, and then the number enters two up to three, which obviously goes back down to two. Two health left. Oh yeah. I'm going to pop your reanimate. Um, <laughs> so I'll buy that last attack. Yep. Just pop that there, because I've got it. And let's do this. This one again. Six, and then I think. Let's do this. Oh, mm. Two's a one though, you're all right. <laughs> mm. So get rid of that. So that is a four. That's a four. So I'm going to do a momentous three damage. So you'll get the momentum, but Locus will pop his reanimate. Yeah. So he will heal all conditions. And he saves momentous three damage. Yes. Yeah. So that's enough to kill. Um, and then he will come back at three health and he will clear his conditions. Doesn't lose this weak point because obviously that's from a game plan. Yes. Anything else from Tapper? Is he going to old Jake's anyone? Uh, yes, he is. So I'm going to spend one to old Jake's. I'm going to old Jake's Hooper. So you have eight in frame, so I think it's either Hooper or. I don't know if you can see Mash, but I'd say you can see. I bet you can. Yeah. Go there, like there, so I'm going to put one on, on Mash as well. Lovely. Okay, let's go. So we're going to go for Broke here. Um, I think every Engineers match we've had has included at least like one velocity snapshot goal, so we're just going to keep going with that theme. <laughs> so Spade places herself to here, she'll grab the ball. She'll spend an influence to diggy hole herself to here. She'll then spend another influence to sprint herself to there. Right. Because I've seen MASH and my eyes have lit up, I'm going to try 
and controlled explode him. <laughs> so, choose an enemy model within six. The chosen model suffers a two inch push. Now, the weird thing about this, this is range on self. So I actually don't think resilience comes into play, but I'm going to roll it as if it is, because I don't like that rule if it isn't. I don't like mm. the fact that you're not protected. So uh, I'm going to roll dice, see if we get three plus. Do. Yeah. It'll pop his resilience. Um, that might be incorrect. If it's incorrect, then that rule is stupid. So I'm then going to try and pass the ball to velocity. So I've got one momentum currently from Locus's knockdown. I need to bank that because I want to go for the snapshot. So we're going to go for... A kick over six inches, which I am within. I've just nudged spade a little bit. Uh, my three dice will go down to nothing, but it will go up to five pluses because uh, velocity is engaged. So three dice looking for a five. Gets hey. it. That will generate a point of momentum for me. I'm then going to spend both momentum for velocity to attempt a snapshot. So she's got an eight inch kick. She is well within range. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna mosey the camera a little bit more centrally, just so you can see. However, her four dice kick will go down to three because she's engaged by mash. So I've got three dice needing two four pluses here. Again, riding my luck with these engineers. So best of luck, Vlosti. Oh, oh, she's not managed it. <laughs> not managed it. Let's see where it ends up. I mean, it ending up over there is not the worst thing in the world. Well, we should go higher than Earth. So, uh, again, uh, light green for distance, dark green for direction. So, in the six, three inches, it would end up there. Sorry if my forearm is on camera. It doesn't go through MASH. I'm going to have Harriet just casually. I mean, it's just a through ball. That's what it was. <laughs> it wasn't though, was it? Um, we'll go back to you. Okay. I don't like the ball being that close. I, I mean, don't... it's Harriet. She's missed one already. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's not give her another chance, eh? Well, I'm going to at least try and make it difficult for him. So... Uh, poor girl. Oh, her. I apologise. Right. Yeah, but it's Harry in the... I don't know. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, so... Friday. Friday is going to shadow to here. And then she's going to charge to here. Charge? Well, sorry, ro walk to here, I should say. And get you some more thought. Oh, no, this is it, this is the problem. <laughs> right. We had one that we had to literally check the rules in the last battle report with Chris, because I was like, can you stand on markers? And it was like, obviously not. And I was like, it's not obvious, because I played Malifaux, and then she can stand on everything. And right. Like, yeah, you got the tap. Yeah, I'll attack. Fours and one. Oh. Even when I put my hand under it, it just flies away. It's a vi viscous vis vigorousness? Yes. Vigorousness. I'm so, I'm so uh, passionate. One armour, so it's two hits. Uh, yeah, so it's two hits. Well, I think we're just going to go for the tackle. So, momentous tackle? Yeah, momentous tackle. And Friday take, takes the ball. I'll take that, thank you. And that'll be it. Okay, I'm going to go with Velocity. She's going to spend an influence. And she is going to put Nimble on herself and then she is going to attempt to walk away from Mash to that position there, meaning I will take a parting blow. Okay. So, Mash, you've got a rolling space probably there, mate. Okay. You are looking for sixes here. You need three sixes to ruin my day. Come on. Come on. Uh, not a sausage. That's <laughs> why the nimble was safe. <laughs> right. Velocity is going to buy and attack on Friday. Okay. Any response? I do have close control for what it's worth at a tackle on one. Um, no, probably not then. Okay. I mean, you're welcome to, but again, it's... Yeah. it's um, so, four dice base, plus one because Rivet's on the pitch, plus one because Harriet is there providing melee's own. Friday's fours and one. She is. Fours and one. Oh. Just, just tackle on one. Okay. There was the, the, there was a hesitation there, <laughs> yeah. wasn't there? Severe hesitation of, oh my God, again. Momentous tackle. And then I'm going to take a tap in shot. So I should just double check them within four inches. I am. So Velocity would have four dice on her kick normally, but she'll lose one because Friday is engaging her. Spend the momentum I just got from the tackle. Three dice looking for a three plus. Can, 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 can my dice get any worse? 
No, oh, there we go. Are. She's got an air handshake, mate. Air handshake. COVID handshake. And yeah, that will bring us to the end of the game. Good game. Sir. Yeah, good game. So we'll go to the post-match summary, and we'll see you in a sec. And what a game that was! Well, um, engineers—they they they go down quite quickly. I think is what we've learned, especially if you know you cheat with the rules a few times. Yeah. But my dice just left me at the end of that game. They absolutely. It's because of Mash. Yeah, Mash, Mash must be protected at all costs. I think, just you game. know, don't cheap shot Mash, or you will suffer. So I'll bring Courtney back in. You can uh, give us your thoughts. You come back into the centre of the shot, mate. So yeah. uh, highlights for you. Um, beating everything up. I think I, I think I did quite well with. Um, just tap for hooper bomb. Yeah, exactly. Taking with out, it was pretty good. There was one. Uh, 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 there's probably a lot of people on YouTube who were just screaming at me. Um, there was one. Basically, when I had spigot going in, I could have just passed it to Hooper. So that's what start, to start the last turn, basically. Yeah. <laughs> but I, to be honest with you, I just didn't see it. I think I was just murder crazy. I mean, in your defence, we had like a one-hour lunch break, and then yeah. we came back to the board. <laughs> so I think we forgot that all of the board yeah. state by that stage. But a massive thank you. No problem. And it's definitely a good showing. Because seeing you're still picking this game up, you. Uh, oh, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I will be doing. I've actually already got Alchemists as well, uh, which is another team I used to play and really love. So, uh, varied content. Ahead. I, don't know, I think for us it's just going to be like a legacy game that we play, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I think Guild Ball is good enough that even if um, Steamforge doesn't want to support it anymore, we will. So Yeah, wonderful way. Well, yeah. thank you very much. I'll shoot you this way while I show my stuff. So a massive thank you for watching, as always. As we said in the intro, we will try and keep this up as long as there's people there to watch it. We'll be here to make it. As always, if you want to support the channel, consider hitting the subscribe and supporting us on Patreon. Thank you for putting up with the usual measures that go in place with this. It is like, what, in the middle of a heat wave oh, at the moment? So hot. Such a hot day today, we're nearly dead. Uh, but, hope you've enjoyed it, and we will see you in the next one. Take care, folks. Hi guys, thank you very much for watching our content. It means the world to us. If you'd like to see some more videos, they should be over here. And if you'd like to support our channel, keep these lights on. You can find links to our Patreon and merchandise in the description below. See you later.